Inbox Management Playbook, I think, based on feedback of applicants that reached out to me, is the challenging or the most challenging part in the Athena application process. Why? Why is it the most challenging part? Because personally, I think that the Inbox Management Playbook is a very unique, it's a very unique type of assessment. And it is also a very skill-specific assessment that Athena has for its applicants. If we're going to compare the application process of Athena to other agencies, not agencies, maybe other BPOs or call centers, the usual process would be your resume screening, and then you go to an initial interview, and then you do some assessments, and then you'll proceed to your final interview, and then you will have your job offer. While in Athena, the application process goes filling out the application form, answering the initial assessment, and then you go to the inbox management playbook assessment, and then you will do your live interview. There's no initial or final. You just have one interview, and that's, and that's what we call in Athena live interview. After your live interview, you'll proceed with the GRIT assessment. If you pass all of those steps, then you will proceed to your job offer. So basically, that's the difference. Not big of a difference with the application process, but it's kind of unique, especially if you compare it to other agencies wherein you have several interviews, but in Athena, you only have one interview and that's the what we call live interview. The rest are all assessments. So why is Athena's application process very unique or why is it one of a kind? Well, that's because Athena as a company or a recruitment agency for executive assistants is also one of a kind. I have worked in several companies prior to being a freelancer or an executive assistant working here and in Athena. I have been a call center agent. I was promoted as a team leader or a team manager in the same call center. I also worked in a multinational company, a very big company here in the Philippines, um, as a channel operations manager. I also owned my own business. It's a wedding and events planning and coordination business. But I have never been this happy, this satisfied, this content this financially stable as I am right now working here in Athena as an executive assistant. So are you also interested in working in Athena or applying here in Athena as a freelancer or as a virtual executive assistant? If yes, then let's discuss first the qualifications and then we'll go on to the benefits later on. The qualifications for you to be able to apply or be considered as an applicant and be hired as a virtual executive assistant. First is you need to be 18 years old and above. You should be living here in the Philippines, anywhere in the Philippines, as long as you are living in the Philippines. You should have your own PC or laptop. The requirements of the specs will be in the caption down below. You should also have an internet speed minimum 10 Mbps. And you should know the basics of using Google Workspace. You have your Gmail, Google Calendar, Google Drive. Within Google Drive, you have Sheets, Docs, Slides, and Forms, as well as Google Maps. And lastly, you should have a basic knowledge or background about cryptocurrency. Why? Because most of the clients who are hiring virtual executive assistants are into the cryptocurrency business or cryptocurrency trading. Now that you know the requirements, let's proceed to the benefits. Once you get hired here in Athena, the benefits that you're going to get are amazing. Let's start off with a training. It's a free training, meaning you're not going to pay for anything. Once you get hired, you will have a three-week training and you will have a 3,000 pesos allowance 
spread out into 5,000 pesos per weekly. So that will be three weeks training and then three weeks that you're in nesting while you're waiting to get matched with a client. That means that Athena will be the one to look for a client for you. Athena already has a pool of clients that are in the wait list. So these clients are actually just waiting for the trainees to finish training and then they'll get matched with an EA or an Athena EA or an Athenian. The next benefit is you're going to have an HMO or health card plus one free dependent. Within your HMO or your health benefits, you also have your optical, dental, and psychiatric benefits. And if you're a pet parent just like me, we also have the pet support program wherein you can reimburse your veterinary expenses for 5,000 pesos per quarter. This also includes the medicated shampoo and soap as well as prescribed pet food for your pets. And of course, when we talk about salary, you, you are going to earn 45,000 pesos fixed monthly once you already have a client. Also, once you have a client, Athena will also issue you a company-issued MacBook Air M1 chip. Again, you will receive it once you already have a client. Amazing benefits, right? So stay up until the end of this video because I am going to give you tips for you to prepare and hopefully pass the inbox playbook management assessment part of the Athena application process. But let me share a quick trivia or a short trivia about the current inbox management playbook assessment. Did you know that the current inbox management playbook assessment is actually very, very easy now compared to when I applied in Athena last May of 2021? Why? Why is it so much easier now compared to when I, I applied last 2021? That's because during the time that I applied, the playbook assessment consists of three playbooks, not just your inbox. You have your inbox management playbook, we have our calendar management playbook, and your delegation management playbook. And the hardest part is that we had to finish those three playbooks within seven hours. And that seven hours, we are in a Zoom call with the recruitment specialist, and we have to do it while we're in the Zoom call. And we, again, we had to finish those three playbooks within seven hours straight. I actually took my break or I was eating while I was taking the assessment while I'm on video Zoom with the recruitment specialist. So imagine seven hours, three playbooks, inbox, calendar, and delegation with recruitment specialist in the Zoom room with us. So for those who are who already applied and planning to reapply, you know how challenging the inbox playbook is. So just imagine it, times three, three playbooks, times seven, seven hours. That's how hard it was for us before when we applied in Athena. So take advantage of the fact that you are just going to do one playbook and you have, I think, between 48 to 72 hours for you to complete the playbook. You have all the time in the world, so take your time when you are doing the Inbox Management Playbook. Now that you know that very quick trivia, I'm sure the trivia will excite you to apply in Athena right now because you know that it's easier compared to when we applied before. So let's head on to the tips that will definitely help you prepare and hopefully help you pass also the Inbox Management Playbook. My first tip for you is to read everything. And when I say read everything, even if you think that it's not part of the assessment, read everything, every period, every exclamation point, every word, every line, Le read everything. How is the setup of that inbox management playbook? When we say inbox management, it means you handling or managing your client's inbox or email. So you will be receiving emails during the assessment itself. But prior to you answering the assessment, you are going to actually read the playbook first. Playbook means an online module. So you have to read the playbook or the module first before you proceed in answering the assessment. 
So read everything in the playbook. And then once you head on to the assessment, you will be receiving mock emails. Make sure to read all the emails from the sender to the recipient, everything. Read everything. Next tip that I have for you is to take your time. Again, take advantage of the fact that you have, I think, 48 to 72 hours to finish or submit the playbook. You can take it for 5 hours, 10 hours. You can take it today, take a pause, and then go back to it tomorrow. But take your time. Don't be in a rush when you are answering the playbook. I can definitely say that you have all the time in the world to answer the playbook. So take advantage of that. Double check, triple check everything before you hit that submit button. Next tip for you is you have to use the answer sheet when submitting your answers. I mentioned earlier that in this playbook, you are going to receive mock emails. Don't reply to those emails. Use the answer sheet. That's why it's very important for you to read everything from the email that you're going to receive from recruitment with the links to the inbox management playbook. Make sure to read that whole email. Don't miss anything because all of the instructions that you would need to pass the inbox management playbook will be available from the email up until the last part of the assessment. My next tip for you would be for the 2.1 part of the playbook. What's 2.1? Because the inbox management playbook is in two parts. You have your 2.1 and your 2.2. So this tip for 2.1 is you have to make sure that you receive the mock emails. Check your spam folders because sometimes they are directed or sent to your spam folders. Okay? If you don't see any emails or if you didn't receive any mock emails for your 2.1, double check your playbook or your module as well as the email that you received from recruitment because they provide you with a link to a Google Drive wherein you will see the screenshots of the emails that are supposed to be sent to you. The reason why they give you access to the Google Drive is sometimes the email that you put in the um, assessment sheet is incorrect. You missed a spelling or something, and that's why you're not going to receive the mock emails. So you have that Google Drive for you to be able to still answer the um, Inbox Management Playbook Assessment 2.1. So just double check and try to find where it is. I personally don't know where the Google Drive link is, but it's there. Just double check the email as well as the online module. Another tip for 2.1 is make sure to read everything on the mock emails as well as read the instructions on the online module because you, if you don't read it properly, if you don't read the instructions, if you don't read everything and analyze what the assessment is, you will not be able to answer the 2.1 part. Also, all of the answers you are going to find in the mock emails, as well as, of course, a combination of what is in the instructions in your online, online module. So make sure that you read everything together. Make sure to triple check all of your answers before, before you hit that submit button for 2.1. My next set of tips will be for the 2.2 part of the inbox management playbook. First tip is same like your 2.1, you are going to receive another set of emails for 2.2. So do not look at the 2.1 emails anymore because you are already done with that. There will be new sets of emails that you have to read for you to be able to answer the playbook correctly or the assessment correctly for 2.2. Again, double check your spam folders. Sometimes it goes there. If after a few minutes you really did not receive any mock emails, then go to the Google Drive folder again. The screenshots will be available there. Another important part for 2.2 is that there is a voice recording that you need to listen to before you answer the assessment. If you don't see the voice recording, which is impossible, it's right there in the online module. If you read everything in the online module for 2.2, you're not going to miss the recording. So make sure to read everything. That's my first tip earlier, read everything. And the 
voice recording should be there. Now, if you don't see the voice recording, you missed on a step, you missed on a page of the online module, you missed something. Because without that voice recording, you will definitely not be able to answer the assessment. The emails that you're going to receive for 2.2 is useless if you don't have the voice recording. They work hand in hand. If you have the voice recording, but you don't have the emails, your voice recording is useless as well. Okay, so they work hand in hand. You will not be able to answer the playbook for 2.2 correctly if you don't listen to the voice recording and you don't read the emails. My next tip for you for 2.2 is, is if you already have the voice recording, you can download the voice recording to your PC or your laptop. That's so you can slow it down, you can pause it anytime without being online, you can do everything you want to do with the voice recording for you to be able to hear everything clearly. Okay. My next step is that you can use transcription apps such as author.ai. I will provide the link of author.ai in the caption down below. You can definitely use that to transcribe the voice recording. But take note, author.ai is not a 100% transcription tool, meaning it will transcribe everything perfectly. So there might be words or phrases that author.ai will transcribe incorrectly. So just double check everything. Listen to the voice recording at least 10 times before you decide or finalize your answers. Next tip, if you have words or phrases that you don't understand, like terms that you don't know if you read it or you heard it correctly, Google the phrase, Google the word, find the meaning. Make sure that you are resourceful in using Google and the internet when you are trying to search what a specific phrase or word means, especially if you don't know what it means. But make sure that when you do search, try to search different terms in the Google search box, but make sure that it's connected to what you're answering. There might be some instances where in a word or phrase means something else in a different context. So make sure that you search it within the context of the inbox management playbook. Next is even if you are already familiar with the word, with the phrase, as long as it's very technical or you are 50-50 about the word or maybe 70-30, 80-20 about a specific word, even if you're not sure or even if you are sure that you know the meaning, still use Google search and find out if what you have in your stored knowledge is actually correct. Next tip I have for you is to ask help from a friend, from a family member, to go through the playbook with you. Help make them double check your answers. It's not illegal to ask feedback from others of your assessment. Just make sure to answer it and then have them double check. Maybe they'll give you a different opinion on how to approach a specific assessment or a specific question part of the 2.2. And then you can debate from there and see at the end if you feel like this is already the correct answer, then you can go ahead and submit. And my final tip for you in 2.2 is if you already feel like you're done, that's it, you're finished. This is all the answers you've already exhausted all of your resources and you feel like you're ready to submit, do not submit it first. <laughs> Double check, triple check everything. Go through the voice recording again while going through the emails or the mock emails and also going through your answers. Make sure that you're 100%, 101% sure and comfortable about your answers before you hit on submit. Remember, you have, I think, either 48 hours or 72 hours to complete the assessment. Take note as well that the 48 hours or the 72 hour deadline starts when you receive the email, not when you open the assessment. So if you receive the email at 5 a.m., but you just opened your email and saw it at 10 in the morning, it means already five hours has gone by. So you have 
I'm not good in math. You have X amount left hours for you to submit and go through the assessment. Okay, so again, the 72 hours or the 48 hour deadline starts once the email is already in your inbox. Basically, that's all of the tips. I've already exhausted everything. The tips for inbox management playbook that I have for you without giving away the answers. But I have one more tip left for you that I think will definitely help is to join my Facebook group, MJ Virtual EA Community, so that you can also talk publicly in the group with other applicants that might give you tips also about inbox management, about the application, about Athena training. We have some... Athenians also within that community that would also help you with the application process. Another thing that I think might help is if you can check out my other videos or tutorials here on YouTube. I'll have the link up here or over there um, about inbox or Gmail features that might also help to prepare you for the inbox management playbook. But before I proceed to the closing part of this video, I have a warning. I have a very, very important warning for all of you guys watching who are planning to apply within my Facebook community before I've already banned, removed, and blocked all of them. Is that there are insidious, big word, no? There, is, there are insidious people who are selling answers to the Athena application assessments. I do not, for the love of God, do not purchase. Okay, why? Number one, Athena will know. Trust me. There are a lot of people who already posted in different freelance communities who said that after their interview, Athena knows. Athena knows that they bought the answers and they were blacklisted. They can no longer apply in Athena. So Athena, I was also shocked. I didn't know Athena would know. Okay? I was shocked when I saw the comment of one of the members of my Facebook group that she was able to reach the final interview because she bought the answers. Okay? But during the final interview, she was shocked when the recruiter, the interviewer, told her that, hey, we know you bought the answers. Okay, I'm sorry, but you are already blacklisted. So do not, if you want to be able to reapply, do not buy answers on the Athena application assessment. The next downside of purchasing, not just being blacklisted, but purchasing, that means that you are not going to go through the application process yourself. So if the application process or the assessment is a there to be able to prepare you for training and then prepare you once you already have a client. If you don't go through the assessment yourself, through the initial assessment, through the playbook, through GRIT assessment, if you don't do it yourself, even if you pass the whole application process and you start training, you are definitely going to fail training because you are not prepared for it. Okay, That's the reason why the assessments are there during application process because you need it to prepare you for training and for the job itself. So if you have any plans of purchasing the answers for the Athena application process and assessments or assessments, trust me, you're not going to succeed as a, as a virtual executive assistant in Athena. You're not even going to pass the training if you buy it because you're not going to survive the training because you're not prepared. Okay? So that's my best. I am very passionate about this because, number one, what I mentioned, Athena knows if you buy it. So once they already know you're going to be blacklisted, you will not have 
the chance to reapply and retry to be able to be part of this amazing company. And I don't want that for you. I have been such a great advocate of referring people to Athena because I know how amazing this company is. And I don't want you to lose that chance just because you bought it from a very bad person. <laughs> okay? So yeah, that's my warning for you guys. But warning aside, what if you say, hey MJ, okay, Athena is great, but the ultimate goal is to find clients, direct clients. What if I don't want to go through an agency? What if I want to have a client, look for my own client, and say how much I want my rate to be? Then great, like I mentioned, that's the ultimate goal for any freelancer, is to find a direct client. Then my tip for you is learning how to become a virtual executive assistant is what you need to do. You don't have to apply to Athena or other agencies, but what you need to do is learn how to become a virtual executive assistant, especially if you don't have experience or if you don't know anything about being a freelancer or being a virtual executive assistant. Well, then good news. All of the free content and I'm teaching tutorials or I'm doing tutorials and talking about how to be a VEA. I have free content here on YouTube. So go ahead and subscribe. I also talk about short video forms in my TikTok. So go follow me on my TikTok as well. But if you want a more in-depth, detailed, deep dive into how you should become or how you could become a virtual executive assistant efficient, effectively, and successfully, then I highly, highly suggest you enroll in my online course. My online course I created through blood, sweat, and tears, and a lot of effort and time I've put into that online course. It's still continuously updated with all of the new learnings, all of the new tips and tricks that I learn as a VEA. So it's currently on sale. It's how to become a virtual executive assistant. It, the links will be available in the caption down below. I'm selling it for 499 pesos. But what's in it for you? MJ, 499, what am I going to get out of the online course? Here are the things that you're going to get out of my online course. Number one, the online course consists of six modules. All of the modules have videos and video transcripts as well as downloadable templates that you can use once you already have a client. Once you enroll in the online course, you will have lifetime access to it already. Lifetime access meaning whenever I update it with new modules and new subtopics, you will have access to it forever. If there is something new that I learned and I updated the module, you're going to have access to it without paying for, for it again. Okay, so you have, that's, that's what lifetime access means. And starting January 2023, I will start having free monthly webinars for, for all of the enrollees. These monthly webinars, we will discuss a specific module or a specific subtopic in detail in a live webinar via Zoom. Another great thing about the online course is that I created it in a Notion workspace, which means it is available both web-based and phone app. So you will have access to all of the, the whole online course, whether you're using your laptop or PC or your phone and tablet. And finally, at the end of the course, you will receive a certificate. All you have to do is pass the final assessment. I think it's a 60 item assessment that I created. All you have to do is just pass it and I will provide you with your certificate. Now, isn't that great? There's so much included in that online course that will definitely benefit you. I didn't have this when I was researching about being or how to be a virtual executive assistant. But I'm giving it now for you. The great thing with it also is that you can enroll anytime since it's a lifetime access. All you have to do is download Notion so that once I give you the link, you will have access to the Notion workspace already. The link to the registration form, again, is available in the caption down below. Now, take note, I'm not forcing you guys to 
purchase the online course, it's there if you have budget for it. But if you don't have a budget for anything, of course, I know we're all looking for work. And that's the reason why we're looking for work because we don't have enough budget. Great news is I will definitely still continue providing you with free content and tutorials here on my YouTube channel. So all you have to do is click on subscribe. So I promise that I will be more frequent into uploading tutorials and videos here on YouTube. But if being an Athenian is actually what you really want, then all you have to do is click on the apply here link in the caption down below and start your application process. And that's it for today's video. Thank you so much everyone for watching. I hope you learned a lot in the tips about inbox management playbook. I will be posting tips about the other parts of the Athena application process in the next coming weeks. So hit that subscribe button so that you will be alerted if there's already a new video about tips in Athena or how to become a freelancer or a virtual executive assistant in general. So again, thank you so much, everyone. And I hope to work with you soon here in Athena. I hope to see you as a successful virtual executive assistant or a freelancer soon. Bye, guys. Have a good day.